What's up my outdoorsy people? In this video, we're driving over to the west coast of Florida, getting ourselves a kayak, fishing on a kayak for the very first time, catching some food to cook, and gonna check out some cool manatees. Stick around. Fort Myers to uh, get a jet ski. Jet ski. <laughs> Those, look jet at that. Ski. We're not getting a jet ski. We are getting a kayak. No motor. No pedals. And no pedals, sadly. About a two hour drive. I've never fished off of a kayak before. Not once. I've heard about it, seen videos about it, but I've never done it myself. My brother just got uh, kayak himself. He's never really done kayak fishing either. Uh, not that I know of. We're after inshore game, snook, tarpon, but I'm really excited just to get this kayak. Hopefully me be on the water more often and be fishing more often. While on the west coast, we decided to load the kayaks on the truck. I did not expect to fit both these 12 foot kayaks on my little Tacoma. We loaded in the gear and hit the road. There was lots of sights to see along the way. And after all the beautiful scenery, we arrived to our destination to launch these kayaks. Our first time fishing on a kayak we decided to go Florida official um, you know give the inshore experience We're in Bonita Springs. We launched out of a little entrance in the side of the road. Beautiful little spot. We've seen manatees already. There's like 14 or 15 of them. I think that I only got video of like a pot of four though. But now we're headed to the sandbar and let's see what happens. Good morning. We, uh, it's not a yelling morning. Dang mosquitoes. <gasps> Can't get this damn mosquito. 6.30 in the morning. <clears throat> We're just gonna try to do a catch and cook today. Got him. I finally got him. Good morning guys, it's 6.30 in the morning. Last time I took out the kayak, we were in Bonita Springs, but I wasn't able to catch anything to cook for you guys. We're taking out again the kayak. New to this whole kayak thing, uh, especially fishing off a of kayak. I've done canoes, I've done other things, but never fished off a of kayak. 
This is my first kayak. And we're just gonna try to do a catch and cook today. Just pulled up to the bait shop. Uh, gonna grab some bait and pick up my buddy Xavier and I'll see you on the water. We finally made it out on the water. There's Xavier. The rain is here, but you know what they say, raining brings the best fish, so. He made it. Did you get your sock? Did yeah, you... I lost the sock. You lost it? Ah! <laughs> I lost my sock. It looks like light rain, so it's not too bad. Uh, already <laughs> sweaty anyway, so. This type of fishing, I'm not going artificial. I'm not gonna fish artificial in the rain. Uh, maybe the best time to do it, but we have frozen shrimp and some frozen squid uh, I'm gonna try to fish right here for some snapper see if we could get some mangrove Where's the shrimp? He had some frozen shrimp You know what I'm gonna try something it's raining on us What is that? It's like a oh, jack. No. No, it's not that jack. No, it doesn't look like it. Leather, right? Leather. The leather back? Yo, those things don't stop following me. Uh, we caught this. Oh, this looks like a regular jack. It's a regular jack. This, this this fin, these fins are different than the other one. Oh yeah, the other ones are stubby, right? Yeah, and they're a lot thinner. So this is a Creval jack, I think. Let me know if I'm wrong. Yeah, started the day. Oh. Thanks, buddy. You see, get you friends that let you know where the fish are and not just... Take it for themselves. Take it for themselves. We did get caught in the rain. Rained on us for a little bit. Um, we didn't catch anything up until the end of the rain. Caught a little jack. Look like what we went through and then... That beautiful day that lies ahead of us. Alright, I had something swim up to it. So. You, you catch a kudo, we're cooking it. Damn, boy. Dude, we don't need no high-end reels, bro. Yo, this is a 10 year old, not even, probably like 12 year old Walmart reel. But, uh, where are we? You're under? But you're not tight, so I can't. They really like that squid. <laughs> Calling it mango snapper on this cast. Watch it like catch something way better or something. And it's like, ah, oh, but you didn't call it. <laughs> Sorry, when you saw your shots playing ball. Mango snapper on this cast. It's on the frozen shrimp. Yeah, let give him a chance to find it. If it was current, it'd be easy. Er. Dang. Oh, that's a jack. Oh, oh mangrove. <laughs> Dang, and a nice one. Yeah, mangrove. I'm calling nine. Pretty much a keeper, but do you want to keep it that small? Not really. All right. Cute. I'll let him see another day. Bye, buddy. Good stuff. On the bait hook, little baby mangrove. Not like crazy, but I got him. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that might be a keeper. Come here, come here. We got one for the box. A little mangrove. So, it's gonna just gonna bleed him out. Oh, he slipped. Oh, yeah, chunky yeah. boy. Not mutton, but mangrove snapper. Yeah, that's definitely a keeper right there. Yes, sir. Oh. Something hit it? Yeah. Oh. Got a little jack. Ooh, slippery guy. Nice little jack. Tina! Tina! There's bait running! Bro, that's the last bait we've been trying to catch. Wait a minute. Ugh, got another jack. I don't want you. There's something in there. That's another jack. Uh, they do fight fun, I'm gonna say that. Ah, come here. Full squid, see what's up. He took the whole squid. He took it. And that's why I don't use whole squid. Oh, that was a beautiful spot. I'm gonna leave it right there. Oh, look, it's a jack. I had no idea. Please be a mangrove. It's a duck. So we're back in the kitchen. We have our fish in the bag. And we had an amazing day of fishing. Caught lots of jack but we brought home some mangrove and we caught a grunt at the very end. Didn't get any footage of that, but we got it right as we're getting to the ramp. Through a last, Xavier threw a last cast, was able to pull in a grunt. Got my cutting board and highly recommend a bag near you. I would just say to do this at the marina, it would save you so much trouble. You can throw the fish right back into the water, continue to circle life, the crabs will eat it, and it's just better, but we're in a hurry today. So, um, got the cutting board and we're gonna cut up these fish. Great day of fishing. Let's get to it. What are we doing? Blackening and seasoning. The snapper. Like a mangrove. So, uh... so we have the mangrove here, the grunt here. Xavier has a little bit of both on his on his bun. We're making blackened sandwiches. I'm gonna go No lettuce, no tomato. None of that. I'm gonna go with this really blackened one. 
So, I am not a big I, fan of fish. I like, I love fishing, not a big fan of fish. But everyone thinks that's so weird. So, I'm going to go out of my comfort zone and do this. Just throw fishing. some avocado, okay. some lime. Okay. Some mayo on Damn, it. He says, I don't want to taste fish at all. I, that is what I'm looking not to taste. All right, let's see. Oh, bad. You can do that? Hmm? You hate it. No, I don't hate it. But I did hate it. Yes, I know, I know, mangroves, one of the best tasting fish in the ocean. You can be some mangrove snapper. I know, guys, I know. I couldn't do it. I didn't like it. I don't know what it was. I didn't, but I had a lot of fun fishing off that kayak. I'm definitely gonna do a lot more of that. Let me know if you guys want me to do more of that. It was a lot of fun. You got to spend time with family, with friends. And that's what we do out here. We spend time with family, we spend time with friends. We bring dinner home and we just have a good time doing it. You know, you can't catch fish on the couch and the best memories you make are with the ones you love. So till the next one, guys. <laughs>